Vaccine-preventable diseases like polio have become rare in the United States. So rare, in fact, that most younger doctors have never seen a case. This is one of the few places where you can see what vaccine-preventable diseases look like. This is a case of pertussis, also known as whooping cough. The audience is made up of paramedic students. She can't breathe. And that's horrifying for any patient of any age to discover that your airway has closed and you can't inhale. The teacher, Dr. Cynthia Christophany, is a pediatric intensivist who treats children in need of critical care. She decided early in her career to document the rare cases of vaccine-preventable illness that turned up in her Portland, Oregon ICU. She has used the footage to teach other medics how to recognize these diseases. I'm old enough to have seen most of the serious life-threatening illnesses that are largely suppressed and some almost eradicated by the modern vaccines. This baby was a victim of rotavirus. There's major fluid deficiency in this child's tissues. Actually kills over half a million humans annually, most of them elsewhere on the planet. The community recollection for these diseases has largely disappeared. And so the parents of younger kids who are of vaccine age are unlikely to have had any personal experience and unless the grandparents or others can tell them what it was like and happen to have had knowledge of somebody who had a severe complication, it's easier to imagine that these diseases are eradicated. Those spots are actually something probably none of you have ever seen. They're chicken pox. This patient had one of the commoner, potentially lethal complications of chicken pox. He got strep sepsis from an infected lesion. This child came as close to dying of chicken pox as you can come without doing it. And so I encourage you to remember that chicken pox also can cause fatalities, even though most people used to think of it as a rite of passage in childhood, and we all got it. You can do better than that. There is a vaccine. This one's a scary one. This is Haemophilus influenza type B meningitis. And he was actually the last patient I ever saw with this disease. I can tell you, it was the scourge of pediatrics when I was in training because there was no vaccine. But beware, it could come back if people stop vaccinating. <laughs> 